So we left you on a cliffhanger last video and we actually got some big news from our doctor yesterday that was very unexpected and very surprising. So what happened was while Bella was in the surgery getting her PRP, the doctor ended up finding three follicles or like three eggs, which is crazy. <laughs> Oh, the last time yeah, we last did time, IVF, she only had one. For the whole cycle. And of course, when we're not expecting it, we go in for the PRP and I, the first thing I remember waking up from the surgery is the doctor was like, Bella, we have some good news. And I was like, what? And I could barely remember this, but he's like, we found three follicles. And I'm like, what? And apparently they're really small. And I don't know if this is like TMI, but I don't really get my menses regularly. So I we don't even know like what, what part of my cycle it's on, but my doctor was recommending, he's like, you have two options here. You can stay here for seven days and we could start on the IVF medication and see if these follicles grow to the right size, or you guys could go home and then come back in a couple of months and we could do an IVF cycle. And so this is kind of tough. Which was, that was our original plan. That was our, originally we were just coming here for the surgery and then we were going to go home. So now we're kind of in like a, we're kind of torn because we're like, okay, do we stay here for seven days and do all the IVF injections? I was like not mentally prepared for this and get started or do we just go home and then we might risk in the future if I don't have follicles that month, I might regret not staying here and seeing what could have happened with these. So it's kind of a tough situation. So there's a lot of what ifs. Yeah. I think we landed on our decision though. We did. We landed on our decision and we are going to take a chance. We're going to take a chance. Yesterday we started the IVF injections. So Dallin got trained up on how to do them. He's going to be giving me the injections. I'll put a little clip here. It's a lot of medicine for the next seven days. <laughs> a lot of medicine. Uh, you want oil? It doesn't matter. Ah. That's one. Go. I was getting a lesson in how to give my so injections. So, these are the medicine, okay? Okay. This is the first injection. These all same. Okay. Okay. Six of them. Yeah. And yeah, it's terrifying, honestly, that Dallin's doing the injections, but we, yeah, we're, we're it's excited. It's terrifying for me. I'm the one that has to poke you. I know. It's not we fun. actually have to do them right now because, yeah, we just gotta get going. So anyway, just to summarize everything, um, for the next seven days, we are going to be doing these IVF <laughs> injections in hopes that these three follicles grow. I hope they grow. So but, the next yeah. appointment is in seven days. So this is day two, technically. Yeah. We took injections yesterday. That's when I was learning how to do it. This is day two of seven. We're gonna be documenting the whole thing. Yeah. I think this is just, of, of course this would happen. Like we just kind of keep laughing. because like, of course, when we least expect it, we're gonna have three follicles. I mean, they're small right now, but I'm praying that they grow. But I also have zero expectations. If it doesn't work out in the next seven days, I'm gonna be totally fine. We'll just come back and do our original planned IVF cycle. But it's kind of fun. We get to try again. And yeah. we're doing our second round of IVF right now, I guess. Like. This is wild. What is happening? Anyway, though, here's another little plot twist, and you guys are going to be like, what the heck? I know. Um, so the doctor was <laughs> like, listen, you guys have spent so much time here in Oman. You should go do this somewhere else. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, I'll give you the seven days of medicine. Dallin can learn how to do it. You guys can travel somewhere. He knows we love to travel. On the road, you can just give her these shots every day and then come back here in seven days and we'll do an ultrasound and we'll see if these grew. So, and I'm like, yo, I'm about that. I yeah, like that. I like that too. So we're going to Italy. <laughs> <laughs> so last night I was like, you know what? I'm booking flights to Italy. It's close by. Actually, it's not super close, but I don't know. You just know. gotta have fun in life sometimes. And so we're just gonna do the injections there. I think it's gonna be good this time doing the injections away from here because there's not much to do here and we would just spend a lot of the time in the hotel. But if we go somewhere else, I feel like we're gonna be out and not thinking about it. And I think that's what's best for us at this point. So it blows yeah. my mind how quick these plans change. And then it's just like, we're just going day by day with everything that's been our model through the whole past IVF day by day. So here we are. Okay, you need to give me the injections because we actually have a plane to catch. What are we doing? We're in a hotel in the Middle East and you're about to give me all these shots. Like yeah, what is happening? Yeah, and I gotta put these all in my bag and take them through security oh and gosh, we're going to Italy that. right now. We can take this through security, right? I think we should be able to, but dear future children, if you're watching this, I just want you to know that your mom hates needles and I'm going through a lot. Like yesterday was a lot for me. And today I'm terrified because your father is about to give me these massive injections and he's never done it before. And I'm just kind of hoping for the best. The, the biggest injection Dallin has given me is like the needle was like 
so like a centimeter. It was so small, and I was terrified then. Now he's he's in the big deals now. So. Tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long. It hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. As you fade away. We survived, Dallin doing my shots. We survived, babe, come give me a kiss. All right, you guys, now we're headed to Rome. here in Italy right now. It is IVF day number three. three. Never thought we'd be doing IVF here in Italy. I know, what the this heck? This is crazy. So we started our IVF in Oman and then we decided we wanted to take a couple days to be able to just travel and enjoy while we do the IVF process because we didn't really expect to do IVF and we already had some trips planned. So we're kind of like, just kind of going along with Literally, the flow. Literally, this is wild. Never expected to be doing this. Anyway, <laughs> time to get Bella some shots and then we're gonna go explore and have an epic day today. I'm so excited! Another day, another round of shots. Here we go. Alright, pull down the pants. My first shot in Italy. We're golden, baby. <laughs> oh, that wasn't bad. Wasn't bad? No. Look at that, we're getting better. <laughs> oh, that's such a relief when that's over. Man, it just gets easier every day. Day three of IVF done, and now I can just go enjoy the day. It's like always such a relief. So let's go explore in Italy. <laughs> we made it to Lover's Fountain. I guess this is like one of the Lover's Fountains. I don't know. Kiss, I we got a kiss. Right the it only makes sense to kiss in front of Lover's Fountain. It's so pretty. <laughs> Speechless. Like absolutely speechless. This is the best donut I've ever had in my life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it's going like this. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm gonna splash some water. <laughs> yeah, that is so cool. So you could drink from it? Yeah. Okay, let me try. How is it? It's good water. It is. It's good. How is it? Ah, it's nice. That's good water. So we just made it to the Colosseum. This here. is one of my favorite spots in Rome. Look at it back there. It's That's so cool. Literally where the gladiators are fighting. So epic.